Service commanders of the River State Security Council on Monday paid a condolence visit to the River State Governor Yeso Mezonwike over the passage of the State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice Honorable Emmanuel Agumasan. The service commanders, who were led by the Assistant Comptroller General of Nigerian Customs Service, Zon C. Sanisi Umar, comprised of the Nigerian Army, Nigerian Air Force, Nigerian Navy, DSS, Nigerian Police, Civil Defense, NDLEA, Nigerian Immigration Service, Customs, and FRSC. Omar described the late Attorney General of River State as a very reliable and industrial public officer. Here this morning, all the representatives of the security agencies in River State, very productive, very reliable, industrious. While condoling with the government and people of River State on his sudden demise, the Assistant Comptroller General of Customs said Led Aguma was a true professional. All of us here, when he was alive, in one way or the other, we interacted with him. And uh, we come to understand that he was not only active, but he was a very cheerful person. And above all, he was broad-minded. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Responding, River State Governor Yesomezo Wiki reiterated that the late Attorney General of River State was one of the best hands in the State Executive Council. Emmanuel Agumar was one of the most hardworking commissioners I have. Not only intelligent, committed, and loyal, he sees himself. He believes in everything we do. He said that it will be difficult to find a replacement for him as he was an embodiment of selfless service, professionalism, and loyalty. And I can tell you that it is difficult, difficult, when I say it's difficult, it's difficult to find a replacement. It's not that you won't get people who are intelligent, but those who are committed to and loyal. You can be intelligent, you may not be committed and loyal to your work. But he is one person who is exceptional. He has all oh, his intelligence, very committed and loyal to his work. Governor Wick explained that he noticed that the late Attorney General of River State was ill during the series of commissioning. He said, though the Attorney General offered to witness the commissioning of National Industrial Court. He insisted that he should travel for urgent treatment. Uh, sometimes uh, before, during the commissioning period, uh, while I was in the dining, he came and I asked him, ah, the way you are looking, I'm not happy. He said, he is feeling somehow. I said, no, you must travel now and go and check yourself and make sure that things are all right. So it is not as if you were that sick where you rushed him. Out for emergency, no. But that he came. I said he was going to wait. Let's read the commission. I said no. You don't need to wait. You must leave now and go and check yourself. And at the end of the day, this is what we are seeing. The governor said that the passage of the Attorney General of River State is very devastating at this time. Well, God knows best. He gives, He takes. We cannot question. We are all human. Yes, we feel it. But we cannot question God why it should happen. But I know how painful it is, not just to us in the, uh, in the cabinet, to the entire state feels better. I cannot question it. So I sincerely thank you for coming this morning to sympathize with us. Governor Wiki said that the consultations are on with all major stakeholders to arrive at the burial date for the Attorney General of River State. Um, I can assure you everything will be done to give him a befitting uh, better. And there's nothing we can do. If money was to save him, obviously he wouldn't have uh, died. But like I said, everything is in God's uh, hands. The River State Security Council later moved to the family of the late Attorney General of River State where they condoled with his aged mother. At the home of the late Attorney General of River State, very prominent 
rivers leaders are condoling with the family former river state governor dr peter odile and his wife justice mary odile were on ground to pay their condolences